Hi everyone, I'm Sheldon. So today, let me just show you how to use Fabric AI and why you should be using it. So we have built Fabric AI based on stable diffusion, but unlike others, there's no need for you to install anything. You simply click on the text and there you go. We have already done the setup and trained the model, so it better fits the needs of designers. And that brings us to the biggest points. Why designers should be using Fabric AI? So you see, we see an infinite canvas along with the database. AI becomes much more intuitive. AI becomes much more handy for designers, especially in the ideation and iteration process. So we believe that this is the place where designers can truly explore and mix up different ideas. This is the place where designers can truly brainstorm and iterate faster with AI in the everyday workflow. So let's briefly go through an example. Suppose you're about to create a poster for a jazz performance. So as we have just done, you can use the prompt as simple as a poster of a jazz performance and have AI generate ideas for you. Or alternatively, you can have AI suggest you the compositions and the elements you can use in the poster. So you can do that by clicking on the text and over here, click on brainstorm ideas. And there you go. This is what you get. And of course, if you're happy with any of this, you can have AI turn that into graphics for you, for sure. So copy that and pass it over here. Just a second, right? And right click to generate images. And that's it. And let's say, suppose you want to go further and add it on any of these produced images because it's Halloween and we want to make it a little bit creepier, right? So we can go back to our database where we have recorded all the artists and styles and adjectives that you can use for stable diffusion. So over here, I'm happy with this Stanley Dunwood, right? So I copy his name over here, going back, and you pass it over here, right? And let's say we want to make this poster a little bit creepier, right? We're happy with this. So you saw that both, and you generate images, and that's it. That's you how you have it, right? So that's about it. And of course, if you want to put this back to the database, you can do that as well. So you want to record this and make it over here, right? And you want to select all of this and put that back down over here. And that's what you can do with Fabric's database along with an infinite canvas. So if you're interested in Fabric database, be sure to check out this video. And that's about it. We'll be exploring more workflows for different designers using Fabry AI. Next video. See you next time.